Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to discuss a street fight where you can see someone clearly getting hurt, attempting the grappling techniques that we usually do on the mats. I've talked about this incident I think around three years ago and I said it's a jujitsu practitioner. Now we don't know. Maybe it's someone who just saw things on a, f a television uh, and this is something that's very important and this is what I want to talk about exactly because people come in and out of my dojo want to try things big guys and it's it's just their size or what they've seen on TV it's really irrelevant and also the advanced guys can back me up here and they will tell you no matter how many times you've done a technique you can still run into problems setting it up or executing it but before we talk about all of this please don't forget to check out my book, The Origins and History of Judo. It's a transcript from 1903, which I have translated into French, English. Both copies are bilingual with modern Japanese. Links will be down below. And to those who have already supported me, thank you. So here he tries to take the back. The, the other guy does a very good escape the one that we actually learn so here the fight goes uh, to the ground and he tried to stitch up a triangle now here where the problem happens he doesn't have nearly the control he has now good thing he let go of the legs or uh, opens up his leg when he gets picked up he should have done that much sooner obviously I blurred the impact or sorry uh, completely removed it but he gets a few strikes to the head as well after he gets basically power bombed. So jujitsu black belts or brown belts and purple belts, please, I think you can back me up with this. You will always have problems setting something up regardless of the situation. Not every time you go for the technique, it works regardless of how advanced you are. So for the people that watch something and they think they can do it in a fight, it's just not even if you think you've understand the nuances of the technique or how it works you're gonna get yourself into trouble here the triangle you can say yeah hook the hook the leg with your arm etc there's just so many things but not every time it can actually work now let me tell you just this is in my opinion the most destructive thing you can do in grappling this right here you see in front of you it's called daki age so daki is like holding something tight or close to you and age is from ageru so to lift up or go up in a sense so you have to control the legs for them to not really uh, let go and then try to base themselves just like you see the gracie instructionals when someone tries to get up the, the first thing you do is is unhook your legs here you see you control them in order to not let them uh, place them on the ground and then from there you lift them up the moment they are lifted up in the past no longer this applies today but they would be given uh, an ippon so it's kind of mimicking the guard slam in a sense because but without the injuries because you know once someone lifted you like this it's basically finished so think of the the head bouncing off the mat or the concrete so think of the paralysis the brain damage and even death so just to tell you a little bit of an anecdote that recently happened and this reminded me of this particular uh, video so uh, recently uh, a guy came to the dojo i want you to think of a mark henry from the 2000s in wwe but wearing the white belt and the jidogi big guy 140 kilograms came in he wanted to try judo and we were drilling together and then in my dojo we often start with newaza and the first round was with him he's literally double my weight and taller than me i would say 10 centimeters taller than me at least and he was trying these techniques i turtled to let him try to attack um, he tried to do a rear naked choke cross choke uh, juji gatame which none of them were like a threat to me. Obviously, I have the experience. He doesn't. But even, let's just say, he outpowered me. He, he, he could not execute them, even though he's seen them. I asked him, he's seen them in UFC, and he's seen them on like 
jujitsu compilation or judo highlights etc and again this is a much larger man than me and uh it was very easy to just pin him down and watch him just squirm try to get out obviously i was just using a bit of leverage so again if you're watching something and you think you can do it it's uh, please untrained techniques will get you hurt even for the trained ones if a throw you haven't trained in a long time or you only do it for exams and it's not your throw in randori don't try to do it in self-defense you or whatever happens you're just probably not gonna make it work and also with the adrenaline and the feeling of someone really being aggressive to you and looking to hurt you is a completely different game so untrained techniques for both the skilled and the, the people who just watch recreationally please be careful this is not how they are done so you when things kick in think of competition when things kick in and you you see flu all around you and you don't you think you're kind of running on autopilot you will know the feeling that your body will go to the things that you've done a million times rather than something new it's usually the case so please be careful uh, for those who are maybe still white yellow belt if you've seen something don't think you're just gonna go out there and do it and please avoid the fight verbally first keep distance physical distance keep your arm out say hey i don't want any trouble etc rather than if the guy let goes in and basically invade your personal space and you think you're gonna do something please just be careful with this this is not how it should be and uh speaking of daki age uh, or the high lift um in my opinion in jiu-jitsu yes a guard slam is illegal and for a good reason because you want to go to work the next day you want to go back to your family you you have all you have a life to live we, we don't get anything from competing i'm talking about us the recreational ones but in my opinion it should be awarded maybe two points or something they should know that uh, i i i was live in the ibjjf european in paris the amount of guys holding their guard the guy lifts them up was just stunning and this should not be a habit and like i said when push comes to shove you're gonna do what your body is used to doing and this is one of them so please do not build the habit of getting picked up even in training or competition and not doing anything about it so please be careful train properly and think of something that you need to do uh, even outside of training and uh, this is very important and if you think you know how a rear naked choke works because you saw it in wrestlemania or ufc or whatever it is think again you need a lot of training even at black belt level i still struggle with little details and refinement when i'm trying to finish a throw or a submission or a pin so if you have anything to add please let me know down below uh, don't forget to check out the links uh, for the book and also my patreon for exclusive content and a little bit of behind the scenes so uh, if you have any experience with big big guys going into your gym or dojo and trying to basically keep up with you and you're a small guy or a skinny guy like me let me know share the experience below i would really appreciate it uh, this was shady and thank you for listening